right, I'm going to give you some more connections here with the video that I just did about the aliens are the ones that are responsible for the chemtrails. Now, if you do watch those videos that you'll see on the favorites page entitled The Friendship Case, then you will see that the aliens are, that are, they're Aryan. And they're very, very tall and some are very, very short. But that's really not the connection to be made. The connection to be made is that they're Aryan and that they are really super sympathetic with the supposed human condition and they have all these warnings and they have all of these plans and they say that they've been here for so long and that they have bases inside the earth well that connects them directly to myth legend and lore of the ancient past that always puts these beings in question i.e the fallen ones inside the earth and I'd like you to draw the correlation between even the mythological character of the devil with the pitchfork and the horns. Well, he's supposed to be in the inner earth. That's where hell is. That's where all that comes from. These beings have been in the earth. Now, the earth isn't a hollow earth like they tell you it is. But there is great void of space within our earth. Think of it like a circle within a circle. And between those two layers of the circle, there would be that void and that atmosphere where they could eke out an existence. But still, there is more to it than that, that the physical aspect of this and these beings coming from the inner earth is of recent times. The majority of the situation of these beings that have been in the inner earth have been sealed. And that has something to do with sacred geometry. And that's why you see in the occult that it's always geometrical symbols that are associated with the calling or binding of these demons or these spirits. Well, that's a whole other video. But nonetheless, I'd like you to draw the correlation with these Aryan aliens known as the Friends who are trying to secure barium and strontium in large quantities of food, showing me that they're trying to run a pilot study to between what type of reactions these chemicals are going to have on the human food supply. So, and this has taken place in the 1950s. So let's draw some connections to these white Aryan aliens is not being such a good thing. Well, first off, we know that they're connected to the Pleiadians. Almost all the Pleiadians are white. We know that the Pleiadians are connected to the Galactic Federation of Light, and that's the GFL. The GFL has two leaders. They even give us the names Ashtar and Vrilon. Well, we can find Ashtar in the Old Testament, and it translates into Ashtoroth, and it's one of the ancient gods. All these scriptures is where you can find it that the children of Israel had worshipped, and these gods were called strange gods, and they were bad. And Ashtoroth was their leader. Same thing with the GFL, same thing with the Pleiadians, same thing with the Nordics. The Nordics are supposed to be the Pleiadians. Now, the Nordics directly tie up to these Aryan beings that we're seeing that are the W56, and they even say that they have their bases inside the earth. Well, I'd like to call your attention to the Vril Society. Vril Society, look it up. And what you're going to see 